The world without cables is sooner than you think. We checked out the PeakDo Wireless HDMI last year on LTT and it had really surprisingly good results actually. It could only do 1080p 60 or 4K 30, but it was good. Like there was basically zero input lag and it worked as described. It, it got us like 30 to 40 foot range or something like that. The big difference though between this and the PeakDo stuff we used last year is the PeakDo thing is a transmitter and receiver on its own. This is a wireless display and it's got a battery built in. So I mean, that's like zero wires basically. Whoa. It's not very heavy. That's it. It's tiny. It's like 13.3 inches, but this is also a touch screen, which not going to be used by everyone, but it's a cool feature nonetheless. There's not much in this box. We've got a sheet. It tells us that we've got a power port and exhaust port. Well, there's, so there's just like this puck uh, that we'll see pretty soon here. And that's your dongle that pairs on the device itself and then it transmits that to the screen. So there's gotta be a receiver built into the screen, I think somewhere. The way this works is it's using 5G millimeter wave, which is basically the higher end of what 5G can do. And it's got crazy range and it's just like zero latency, but it suffers from one huge issue and that's interference. If you've got a line of sight, it's awesome. Like it actually works really, really well. But as soon as you put anything heavy, like honestly, if you just put a second display in between this and the other uh, transmitter, it's probably gonna cut out. You might not get a full loss of transmission, but you will see like a chop here and there where it has to kind of catch up. So yeah, just make sure that even if you're at range, don't get a bunch of stuff in between you and the receiver and the display or it's not gonna work very well. Charging brick because you always need more of these. So we've got USB-C to A. This is probably for charging. That goes with our power brick. And then we've also got another USB-C cable. And then this is HDMI mini to HDMI, I'm guessing. And then here's the puck, here's the transmitter. 5G can operate between like 24 and 100 gigahertz in the frequency spectrums, but this has got a little 60G stamp on it. So I'm pretty sure it's operating at about 60 gigahertz. Let's get this wicked peel. Oh, I mean, that's the display. It's got a really handy kickstand on the back, actually. This is super stiff. I am a little worried that over time, like from using it a whole ton, it's gonna loosen up and it's not gonna be as good, but it's not bad. Like it works pretty good. And I think there's rubber feet. Yeah, there's a little bit of rubber on the bottom too. You can see where they've got the battery. I would be willing to bet that it's right along here. It's the thickest point, but they've done a really good job of kind of incorporating everything. So it's also got the IO. We've got a headphone jack uh, and then what looks like USB-C. Oh, it tells me right here, OTG. What does OTG mean? I honestly don't know. And then what's this button do? It's like a switch. Oh, is that for like a menu? Is it USB on the go? I don't know, on the go, maybe. Uh, the other side also has a few imports. There's a uh, power, then there's a type C connector, and then there's our HD. So our really small HDMI. So I guess if you wanted to, you could just hook this up to whatever. Um, say you don't care about the wireless feature and you just want a small screen because your switch is a little too small, but you want something that's still kind of portable. Uh, you can totally just plug it right into this guy. So this is probably the receiver on the back here. So you just, whenever, wherever you set this up, just try to make sure that you've got a nice direct line of sight from this guy to this guy. So there's not much else to do except turn this thing on and game on it. But first, a word from our sponsor, Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM is a 360 degree solution for managing your business's sales, marketing, and customer service. With their intuitive UI and simple navigation, you can implement their service quickly and efficiently. They offer AI predictions to help you with insights and to understand your customers' needs. Plus, their inbuilt design studio helps you customize your experience to help you spot critical information at a glance. Zoho offers flexible contracts, transparent pricing, and an ever-evolving product that grows to meet your needs without snowballing costs. Get 50% off your annual subscription when you use code ZCRM50 at the link in the video description below. It took a little bit of kerjiggering to kind of figure this thing out. It's not that complicated though. Basically, it does need power for most things. One of the cool features it has is it'll actually use your phone's battery to power the receiver. I don't think the switch will let it do that though. So we've got it hooked up to a power source. And then from the USB-C side of things, we're gonna go to our switch because that docks via USB-C. Display, how do I turn you on? There's this OSD switch on the side here, 
and sometimes it likes to work real good. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Hey, cool. Oh, one thing to note is that like when it's flat, it is still working with the receiver. Oh, no signal. I didn't turn the switch off. Oh, I think it's trying. Please. There we go. Hey, all right, all right. So yeah, I mean, there you have it. Boom, look at this. Nothing, nothing. No wires going to that at all. Boom, fully wireless experience. And it looks really good though. And there's like zero input lag. Like the only kind of latency I'm really feeling is kind of the switch itself. This runs, I'm pretty sure Dread runs around like 30 FPS. Oh yeah, see as soon as I like go to hide the receiver, it starts to have issues. So you've got to tilt it up like this. Yeah, it's mad at me already. If we had this not aimed at the camera and we had like more of a line of sight like this, I bet you it would work great. We'll show you a better example in a little bit. Ultra HDR? What the hell? This thing is Ultra HDR? Oh, right, it's a touch screen. I keep forgetting that. Wait, is it though? What? Yeah, okay, that's working. Oh, it has some trouble. It doesn't, oh, okay. So HDR actually does make a huge difference. Does that look, that looks worse. That's way too blown out. Auto is probably your best bet. You can turn a crosshair on. Battery info. Sharpness in hand. Yeah, that's just fine. But you can change a bunch of color like RGB pickers and stuff, which is actually pretty impressive for uh, something like this. So Andy just had me turn down the audio because guess what? It's got speakers. That's right. Which is actually a pretty nice feature on a display like this because I mean, if I'm using something like this, chances are you could be using this in the bathtub. Frankly, like, oh man, that's actually sick. I kind of wish I could go take a bath and just like play, like, I don't want to bring a switch into a bathtub. Like that's just a terrible idea. But hear me out. You have the screen like somewhere else that you can still see obviously. And then you have your switch somewhere else. And then you just got the controllers. If you drop the controllers in the bathtub, who cares? That's fine. I mean, sure, maybe you have to buy a new controller, but that's not the end of the world. What's this? It's a wireless display. By whom? Ava. Ava? It has an exhaust port? Yeah. What do you plug into the exhaust port? Exhaust. Look at, what's this? It's my laptop. Is it trying? Se we're setting up multi-touch. Oh my God, look, it's doing something. Yeah! Ay wow. Whoa! Look at that. Hold on, hold on, hold oh, on. I have six Teams notifications. Busy boy! But yeah, it's connected to my laptop just fine. Oh. oh, it's having trouble. So basically the receiver is on the back here and the transmitter is right there. So the problem is we're trying to show the camera, but then we put, those tra we put the, the receiver flat on the table and then it loses signal. That's not because of the device. It's actually pretty good. As soon as yeah, it's actually gone like, line of sight, it's I'm great. Just, I mean, I'm trying to think about like the justification because you think about the size of that thing. It's in a sort of tablet-y form factor. Yeah. So there's, I could see how someone would think like a no, I don't want to make it flat. <laughs> they they could sit there flat. It could sit there flat, right? Yeah. And then it doesn't work. It's a little finicky when you start losing connection. When you when you fully lose connection. Yeah, but this thing's like get oh, in, oh no connection. Yeah. So if you just get in the way a little bit, it'll it'll chop a little bit. But if you full on break the connection, you have to like reconnect everything, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. How does this computer work? I don't know. Windows is hard. Critique oh, when all oh yeah, yeah, oh, I can. Oh yeah, whoa! So that's super cool. The touch like totally. <sighs> you close the laptop. Why? Did, but it's it's going out of a. It's probably set to shut off when it's closed. <laughs> Why? It's only on this. Oh, laptop. much better. Here oh, we go. Oh my god, Andy. And the question is, Andy's such a great guy. Will the touch screen work? Because I used an espresso display, which had touchscreen functionality. Plug Is that here. what LED stands for? Liquid espresso <laughs> display? Yeah, actually. Wow. Andy, why is this not going in this plug? Is this plug broken? Nope. Wow, you're broke just- by Matt. You Oh no, Andy. it's just a stiff cable. All right, boom, software update. Let's do the software update on Monterey. Hey, why isn't that working? It's no, I don't settings. think, I don't think that's gonna. No, it doesn't work. With Windows, it worked just fine. So maybe that's a big thing is if you're an Apple user and you want to use the touchscreen, Maybe so this thing this. is like, okay, so this thing's like, I wanna watch a movie off my computer and it's and I don't have any apps or a tablet. 
to like use Plex or something. Well, like sure, but that's, I wouldn't use this for watching movies. I would use this for like portable gaming kind of. Like say I want to play on my computer, but I want to do it from my couch and I don't have a TV or I don't want to plug into my TV. Cause then I've got this weird cable running all the way from my TV to my PC. And I'd much rather just have a little dongle sticking out somewhere on my desk. Right. Okay, I'm gonna play a song. I'm gonna try playing a song to the speakers. Okay, ready? Yeah, switch it back. Oh yeah, that's so good. No, it's not, <laughs> it's really bad. But you know what, like it's a thin screen. Yeah. They're really hard to get good speakers out of. Well, I'm done, I have no more thoughts anymore. Yeah, so. that's cool. Okay. Right, See you later. Jonathan. Goodbye. So one thing that I'm currently curious Oh, yeah, it's totally working. I mean, it's trying now, but there it is, yeah. Boom. Hey! All right, now we wanna check out the range. So any of you who watched the Peak 2 video, you might remember that this is basically where we tested that stuff too. And it's hooked up to Andy's camera right now, and I'm like watching myself on the screen, and it's a little weird, but I'm just gonna keep going back. And I'm actually, I know that this has crazy good range. It's fine. We're totally past 20 feet now. It's still good. Yeah, this thing's okay, but here, I'm gonna go behind the wall. Oh, it, it stopped. Oh, it's having trouble kicking back on. Sometimes you gotta unplug it, plug it back in. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, cool, there I am. Huh. Neat. It stops working as soon as I change the receiver direction and point it that way, but it works pretty good. Because it's up such a high frequency, it's basically not going to get interrupted by a whole bunch of stuff. It takes a lot of juice though. Like that thing is getting hot. And this isn't too bad, but it's just the battery. That's why it has all those vents um, on the back, like on the bottom. So if you're gonna get one of these, don't tuck it away somewhere, both because of the line of sight and because it's just gonna get crazy warm. Like. Not probably not gonna start a fire, but it's not something you wanna to toy with really. For the 13 inch one that we've got, it's 1080p and it's like $590. So just shy of 600 bucks for a 13 inch screen. It is 1080p 60 at least. If you wanna go higher than that, you can get 4K on the 17 inch screen, but it's gonna cost you even more. It's gonna cost you like $1,000 to get that. So. I really don't see this being for people who wanna play games too much unless they're traveling constantly and they need some kind of portable display. Otherwise, the main place I see it being used is like in camera dens. Like right now, this is great having like a little portable monitor like this. If we were filming outside or something, we could have this set up and just put our monitor like in a little table somewhere and that way we can actually watch ourselves and make sure that we're getting the shot that we need, especially if you're by yourself. If you're by yourself and you've got to set up on a tripod and then just like walk away, having this with you so that you can look at yourself and make sure the shot looks good, super handy. I see that being a much more like value oriented kind of position. Whereas for gaming, I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it, but to each their own. If you have a use case and you really want one of these, I mean, hey, it's a pretty cool product nonetheless. And maybe in the future, the price will drop and we can see a lot more wireless displays coming for pretty much every use case, maybe even high refresh rate gaming monitors, you never know. Thanks for watching, this is the in-lead AVA wireless display, uh, 4K or 1080p, depending on which model you get. And yeah, if you wanna check out any other monitor short circuits, feel free, there's a whole bunch. We just did the ViewSonic Mini LED, that was great, fun monitor, looks a lot nicer than this. <laughs>